what's up guys welcome to my channel today we'll make this um, top it's a top with a notched collar and lapel and the sleeves are pleated i'm going to make flare as well with pleats if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell as i upload videos every week on this channel and you don't want to miss any of those so without further ado let's begin our body's pattern as usual and this is the front pattern okay that's my shoulder line my shoulder slope by one inch this is the bust line and that's the waist line so the that was my bust span then measure half inch to the right and half inch to the left then you link that to the top all these were explained when i was drafting the body's pattern so you can refer to that after watching this video this is my center front now the first thing we want to do now is to go ahead to create the neckline and link up the points just make sure that the paper you're transferring your pattern to you have um, about 3.5 inch allowance on the center front and at the uh, shoulder line as well above the shoulder line you should have some inches as well just to help you create your collar and lapel okay so that's just what you can see on this paper now we're going to extend this neckline extending this neckline depends on what you want if you want um if you want your lapel very wide just make it longer than what i'm doing here so i'm just using two inch and that's what i need for this particular project then we're going to create a break point for our top this break point will help us um, fix our zipper this is the point where we want our zipper to start from so for this one i'm using eight inch depth just modify to suit your preference okay so and i'm measuring one inch for my zipper allowance just measure that from that break point all the way to your waistline then link up the points now the next thing you want to do is to connect this extension to your break point leaving out the allowance once this is done we'll go ahead to create our collar and to create your collar measure your back neckline the length of your back neckline from here all the way to that point and that's what you want to apply on above the shoulder line so you apply that here then you go ahead and link this point up to the neckline Because you know the back neckline is curved, it's not just straight. So we need to just further uh, measure about half inch inwards. Then we use that to blend this into that extension. This is to enable the neckline to relax nicely. As you know, it's not straight, it's curved. Okay. So once you've done this, you just square that point off. Now you're going to create your collar. For the color you determine how wide you want it to be i'm working with a width of 2.5 inches so just mark that on this point and you're going to link that up with a straight line that's the point you have you're going to create that now connect this uh, color to your lapel Next, you're going to create your armhole that. Okay, so measure the length of your armhole. 9.5. Then you derive the midpoint, which is 4.75. Then apply that here. Then you're going to connect that point to your bust line. Then measure half inch to the right and half inch to the left.
remember to replace your one inch that on the armhole now for the back we don't need to do much because um, we'll be working we'll just modify our armhole that and eliminate our bulge at the back okay so we're going to measure half inch inwards from our waistline okay just measure half inch or 0 0.75 inwards then connect that to your center bag this will help you create a beautiful fit on that bag okay if you're using zipper there it works very well because it eliminates some kind of bulges on that point so once you've eliminated this the next thing you want to do is to create your arm holder so you apply the same half of your armhole apply that there then you're going to connect that <laughs> sorry i forgot to make the notch on the collar so it's very easy just measure 1.5 inch or one inch from the edge okay from this sharp point measure 1.5 upwards then you're going to connect that straight to the end of your neckline your initial neckline okay so that's what it is then just trim that out for the flare on the waistline you just need to get your pattern and fold into four from your folded edge you're going to apply your waist circumference divided by 2.84 i've already shown you how to derive the radius of your circle if you've done that then you're going to apply the figure you get to create the radius of your flag but in this case uh, 36 inch by 2.84 is going to be 5.7 but we'll approximate that to 6 inches now we're not going to apply that 6 inch on this waistline we're going to multiply it by 2 you can even multiply by 3 because we're going to be pleating this flare on the waistline so just mark same figure all around your pattern before making a skirt flare, you're going to cut this part away and the part that continues from here will be the part you're going to use to make your uh, skirt, okay? But in this case, I'm keeping this part and this is the part I want to place on my fabric to cut, okay? So now that we have all the patterns now cut out, we're going to go ahead to cut on fabric, okay? Just watch closely and see I'm going to use this pattern to cut the pattern on the flare. You need to place your fabric on fold you fold into four this is an ankara fabric and this is the width which is by 45 inches so i folded that into two and i went ahead to also fold by the length into two so it's now folded into four okay and that's what we have here now one side of this ankara is longer than the other because it's a high low flare so that's why i folded and this stops at this point while the other one extends all the way down now the full length we're going to be working with is 37 for the back and 25 for the front okay so if you take away your um, half length which is shoulder to waistline from these two figures whatever you get is the length you're going to mark on this flare okay so what you need to do now is to place that pattern we drafted we're going to place it on that folded edge just the same way we did when we were uh, getting the block for this one okay so with this now you're going to now measure the full length of your flare from this end point okay so it's that easy just mark around this flare then you're going to apply the measurements so mark around this pattern So the full length for the front pattern is 25 inches and the half length is 16 so 25 minus 16 is 9 inches so we're going to measure 9 inches from this point downwards so we have 9 inches so let 
So you can add half inch for your uh, seam allowance, okay? So make it up to 9.5 inches. So link those points up. Now, the next thing you want to do is to measure the full length for the back pattern. So for So you can add half inch to that as well to make it 21 and a half. So that's it. Now you go ahead and cut the pattern. modify the sleeve place your fabric on fold then place your sleeve pattern on it then measure three inches from the top bit measure three inches and mark that then you're going to be extending this sleeve by three inches okay then on the wrist as well you're going to add your seam allowance of about one inch So you just connect this point all the way to the end. These are our center back. I just cut two pieces of the main fabric and two of the lining. This is our side back. I've cut two pieces of the fabric and two of the lining. Center front, four pieces of main fabric because we use one for the facing. Now this is our side front, two pieces of the main and two pieces of the lining. So if you saw my video of the blazer making, it's not going to be far different from what we will be doing today so we just need to sew the front bit then we'll now sew the lining attach our interfacing on the center front okay. these are the sleeves i cut two pieces and i cut a bit of the lining i have to use the main fabric to do the top bit so that by the time we pleat we can have a bit of firmness there because the fabric is thicker than the lining so i just cut halfway of the fabric for the inner then a bit of the lining for the sleeves i just cut all round lining and main fabric okay so it's all the way around then the front you need to cut cut through the front because that's where we we'll attach our zipper so for this one as well you can decide to iron on interfacing and use your horsehair braid for the edges or you can just iron on interfacing and leave it
Thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate your time kindly subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already and turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time i make a new video share this video like and drop a comment and i'll see you in my next video bye